DM Greg here. I'm going to be doing a video on how to convert a Mongoose Traveler 2D deck plan into Fantasy Grounds uh, and make it a immersive virtual tabletop uh, asset that has line of sight, great graphics, and some, some lighting effects. Um, these tools I'm showing off are new with Fantasy Grounds version 4.2. It's another reason why I love Fantasy Grounds uh, and use it over the other VTTs that are out there. Um, Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to show you where I'm going to be getting these map packs from. It's on the Mongoose Publishing website, mongoosepublishing.com. And I go to Downloads and go into the Core Rulebook. I'm going to grab the 2D deck plans that come with the current uh, uh, rulebook. Um, the Core Rulebook uh, standard uh, comes with isometric maps, which are kind of a pain uh, to use in Fantasy Grounds. The Core Update 2022 has new 2D deck plans, uh, which look great. Um, I just want to show this because we could get this out of anything um, on the website uh, and convert it to, to Fantasy Grounds that'll get the line of sight and do all the work for us. So I'm going to click on Download, and the, what we see is we have PDF copies of the, the 2D deck plans. And like I said, they're black and white. Um, this first one probably being a far trader, fuel tanks are huge, yep, and free trader. Uh, but going through it, you can see all this stuff, you know, our Scott Couriers, uh, uh, lab ship, all that stuff. Um, you have two options to get this into Fantasy Grounds. Um, I'll say this, to get it in Fantasy Grounds, it has to be in JPEG or PNG format. So one option, um, I could speak to a window, as a Windows user, you could snip the image using the snipping tool and then do a save as and make sure it um, is JPEG or PNG. Or uh, what I did was I have a uh, upgraded Adobe Acrobat account and I was able to uh, save as and make uh, all these files uh, JPEG. So those files are already ready to go. Uh, while I have the internet open, I do wanna show, these are the, the map packs with version 4.2. Um, they, they range from 999 to 1499 US uh, for the individual packs. Uh, this is like this is one of the ones that we're going to be using, um, and then the spaceship one right here. Um, you could subscribe to their art pack, uh, art subscription, which is five dollars a month, and you get access to all of these tons of map packs, or fifty dollars a year. Um, and I'm only on page I'm on page two, but there's there's pages of map packs for Fantasy Grounds. Um, I just wanted to show you this that this is this is the the caveat to. Um, Version 4.2 has these tools baked in. They're free to use, uh, but you do need an art pack to take advantage of what I'm going to show you today. And again, I'm using the Sci-Fi Interiors map pack and the Spaceship map pack. All right, so uh, back in Fantasy Grounds, I, um, I've already exported uh, that PDF to JPEG. So to import the JPEG into Fantasy Grounds, I go to uh, Images. Uh, from images, uh, you go import files. And I think the free trader, which is what I want to convert, was uh, JPEG 2. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. All right, so now we have this uh, handy dandy black and white Mongoose Traveler 2D deck plan of a far trader. I'm space that out there. I'll be using the side space on the right here in a little bit. Now, to point this out, this is this is playable. You don't have to do anything. We now have a deck plan in Fantasy Grounds that's two-dimensional. Uh, we could spice it up a little bit. We could add something like an effects. Uh, maybe black and white is a little too crisp, too sharp. We could add the effects of parchment, for, for example. Um, you know, and it softens it a little bit. Um, you could set colors uh, day and night, just different things. I'm going to keep it on none. Uh, we could also um, add a... Um, a layer of uh, grid so that way these are snappable grids for the tokens and I just go here all right where he looks about right uh, th those lines are heavy I could I could soften it by doing this or because there's already grids on there I could just hide my grid and then when I drag and drop my PC they're gonna snap to these grids so I'm gonna play mode right and they're at a, they should be set at a meter and a half but yeah, so three meters there, all right? So that's it's all snapped. You just had to add that layer for the uh, the grid, and this is playable. Now the players will see everything. There's no line of sight or walls created, but 
if it's their ship, what should it matter, right? And the, and the referee could drop tokens as they go into rooms if there's, uh, you know, enemy combatants on board or whatever you want to have. Uh, but we're going to spice this up. Let me go ahead and delete this token. Uh, but for this video, we're only going to do this first floor. Uh, if this comes in under an hour, maybe I'll do this second floor. But I just want to focus on, on showing you how to do a nice full conversion using these two map packs and, and Fantasy Grounds out of the box. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this effects layer. And if you're um, maybe like a Photoshop user or, or some kind of um, photo editing software, you'll, layers are going to be common. Uh, I am going to do my best to work within the appropriate layer, but I sometimes get ahead of myself and start creating new layers without paying attention. Um, but we're going to keep uh, this 2D deck plan as my bottom layer. We're going to build, we're going to build up, right? And then once we have all the layers down and the graphics and the line of sight and the lighting, uh, then we're actually going to delete this out of here. We won't even need this layer anymore. All right, so let's go to assets here. Not a huge fan yet of how they have this laid out. If you own a lot of stuff, you're going to see a lot of stuff in here. So I'll open this up a little bit, but we're going to do, um, to start off, we're going to, we're going to create a walls. I'm going to paint the outline of the hull of this free trader, right? And, uh, to do that, um, it is FG, um, was it spaceship map pack, right? And it gives you everything named that what I, I just click in any of them. And then I go back to the, the root folder, right? And this is the three three subfolders I want. So we're gonna go to paint. And we have two things. This is the new the new hotness. We have the stroke, which is the line. It's our paintbrush, and we have um, the fill. And this is um, this is where the magic happens with four point two. Um, there are other VT or not VTTs, but map making software tools that'll do what you see, and you'll see why and understand why this can now replace them. But to start, I'm gonna start with a wall. That's in my brushes. And I'll just, um, I'll use this first, the beam, this, this will, we'll, we'll use hall two brush I'll about that. So hall two, um, you see that the corner type is beveled. You can kind of, you we could round it, which maybe I'll do or, or meter, which, uh, is, is good for nice 90 degree angles. I'll, I'll keep bevel for the outer hall. Now you can see this is huge when I, when, if I go to paint over this, uh, so I'm going to want this at like a 0.8 and it's, um, Aspect lock ratio will, will go in, and I still think that's going to be too big, so I'll go maybe 0. 0.5 and 0. 0.4. That yeah, might be where I end it. Yeah, 0. 0.4. All right, so this will be my whole line. Now, when I paint, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the perimeter going around the outside. The fill will will automatically start filling um, the interior of what's between the wall layer. So um, I do have some ideas of what I want. So I'm going to go to FG uh, Sci-Fi. Use my Sci-Fi interior. And, oh, that's my token pack. Let me go back out. I'm gonna, I may do that accidentally a few, a few times. So FG member interior. And like I said, I like to just click one and go back and um, floors is what I want. So on the floors, I could pick anything. I am going to use this floor right here. I'm going to do that as my fill. Um, so I'll just kind of get to it. Um, we're just going to trace over this. Uh, it's click, click, so single click. Do not hold down your mouse button and drag. It's just going to create a ton of, of draw points. You want uh, to minimize that. So I'm going to start up at the top single click and then on a rounded edge I'm gonna, I am going to do a one click finish my rounded edge and then go straight down to here and then to here right kind of zoom in a little bit this will help me kind of clean this up a couple clicks to get around the corner Straight, round it, straight, round it, round it. So now I'm, and I'm panning by hitting my center mouse button. Okay, 
went a little deep on there, but we can fix that. Zooming in and out with my mouse button, and again, using it to pan around. Okay. Once I have it, I hit Escape. I could touch it up. I could go um, do Edit. And what I could do is, like, what I'll do, I kind of, I like to grab and see what I did. There we go. No, that should be probably straighter. Cool, cool. It's looking pretty good. Kind of fix this a little bit. There. So I filled everything in. That looks pretty good. Um, next up, this is where, where my Eureka moment happened when I slept and woke up on this this morning and decided I was going to share this. Um, I, could, I could hide this layer, right? And it's still there. And I could start filling in all the, the, the dark uh, filled in portions, these black spots. I won't do it for, um, th this is like hardware and, you know, engineering stuff. I'm actually going to put decorations in here. But these hard uh, dark fills on the sides and up here at the nose, I'm going to go and do that. So going back into my line, I'm going to replace my fill. Um, I'm still on the floors. So there is a, uh, like a, a grate. Yeah, we'll do this, this dark grate. I'll replace it. I'm going to keep my stroke. Um, actually, I don't think you have a choice. You could, you could opt in or out of a fill, but you have to keep a stroke. Um, so what I'll do, right, so remember, on and then hidden. We'll see what this does. So if I start and I click, we know it's doing it, even though we don't see anything. And then I hit escape, and I turn it back on, and there's my fill. I could straighten this out. And there we go. So I'll do that for the whole ship. Um, doing it like that. So let me go ahead and hide this. Oop. Hide this layer. And again, do this big chunk here. Snap, 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 snap. Just clicking away. And, you know, I have all these points. They're not perfect when we go back and turn it on, but as you can already tell, we could adjust. So it's getting them generally where they need to be. And then we'll make our adjustments. I'll just, I am going to trace, you know, fancy rounds. Josh might be there just uh, laughing at what I'm doing. There's probably a better way to do this, but this is, uh, this works for me. So I'm going to keep doing it. I hit escape, turn on my paint. That's pretty close. Uh, I do got to fix some of these lines, get them, get them back on grid. Let's see which one, no, not that one. There we go. That was, that was pretty tight actually. There we go. There. So we got that all filled in, right? See what I'm talking about? I'll click off of this and, um, right. So I got to do the, the down the the wings and uh, well like I said I'm not gonna do the engines and stuff I'm actually gonna put decorations in there but let me go ahead and do the fill that's trying to stay in my painting so go back here I'm clicking I know I know we don't see anything but I'm just clicking my little heart out Hit escape, it sets it. I'm gonna go ahead and make my adjustments here. Pull this up a little bit. Pull that up a little bit. Which means this is off. There we go. Cool, cool. Put that in there a little better. Great. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. So go ahead and hide the paint layer and go back to my draw mode. Start up here, click, 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 click. Finished it, hit escape. Let's see what I did. Grab it, Let's see if I need to make any adjustments here. Get that back on. That all looks good. Something here doesn't look straight, so. 
to sup them a smidge. Straighten that up a little bit, straighten that out. I think that looks pretty good. We online here. As good as it's gonna get. There we go. Okay, so all this dead space is accounted for. Next up, we're gonna be by fuel tanks. Um, I don't know what hydrogen looks like uh, liquefied. Uh, maybe it's a water. So I'm gonna do a similar thing where I do the same fill. But now that we're doing more interior walls, I am gonna make that wall layer much uh, narrower. So um, let me go back to this and I'll probably make that a point too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the fill though, I know I have water. Uh, this may be coming from a different map pack. Um, this, this one is out of Town Maps 2. This is out of the regional. I'm the probably, I'll use the regional one. It's the color, I like that color. And same thing, I'm just gonna trace the fuel. I started let's see it is yep and same thing with the other side no I have I have other map packs I have like this uh, abyssal map pack where I could get lava and use that kind of lava uh, as my fuel type if I wanted to that look cool and it you know it's an awful lot of work to do that uh, really when the players will never see it <laughs> All right, players shouldn't be hanging out in the fuel tanks, uh, especially when it's loaded. Cool, got that. That looks good. Maybe straighten this. Okay. That's the fuel area. Um, all right, I think we are actually going to start doing walls. So I'm going to work uh, from top to bottom and start, start doing that. Oh, this kind of bugs me. This looks a little off. So let me... There we go. Maybe, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the fill. Uh, we don't want this, so you just uncheck use use fill. And we're just gonna do walls straight up. So go back, uh, staying in my painting layer. Um, click, 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 that's set. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the doors, those will be added later. And I'm holding down shift to do uh, straight lines. Escape that. I'm going to do one straight line, shift all the way across, escape, and then escape, escape. Let's see. That's a desk. No need to draw lines. These are corner desks, as far as I can tell. Escape. Escape. I'm gonna do this nice long one straight across. Pulling down shift. Escape. 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 Have I done this room? I don't remember. I have. I'm just missing this. Escape. So let's see how I'm doing. Okay, so it's all coming together. I'm happy with this so far. All right, next up is down on the bottom of the map. Okay, so then um, here to here, escape. Here to here. To here, to here, to here, escape. Here, to here, escape. And did I miss one? I did. Yeah, for sure. I missed this long wall and something else. I'll get leave that door open. So here, to here, escape. Let's see. Yeah, I'll just drop a door in there. And let me.
Kitchen. Okay, that looks pretty clean, I think. Okay, so we're doing good. I think the walls are done. Doors will go in later. Let me go ahead and uh, let's, let's uh, well, doors will be on this next step is actually decorations. So we're gonna go ahead and switch uh, from our draw mode here to our stamp mode. Um, let's we'll start doing some decorations. So in the uh, FG spaceship one, like I said, I just pick one and then FG space map pack and decorations. We have these engines, uh, some mechanical things. Um, oh man, do I like this one? We could use this, stamp it. So you can see in stamp mode, it's pretty small, right? Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna bump this up, make it like a five. Way too big, so two point five. Getting there, maybe a two. Mount that there. We'll mount this one there. All right, uh, we had some mechanical things in here. So we could do, uh, we put like tanks. And scale down a little bit and rotate them, right? That looks neat. Uh, then I could, uh, that's probably it for that room. I'm gonna make this room on the left a medical bay. This will be the low berth area. There are, uh, in, in these art packs, there are medical beds. Hmm. Right, there they are. So in this medical bay here, I could put this medical bed here. Uh, I gotta scale it down. And I wanna rotate it. Maybe I'll put a computer in there. Um, there we go. This looks like something a doctor would use. Actually, bump that up in scale a little bit. Put that there, right there on the wall. So that'll be a medical room. And then in here is the uh, low birthing. So I think we have cryos. Yep, we have cryopods is what I'm gonna use. They're huge. There we go. We're just gonna start stacking them in here. Low birth passengers. No regrets. This might be too many, but you get the idea. And then we can kind of straighten that out a little bit. Get these where we want them. I think that looks all right. Okay, uh, so we got our low berth, we got a medical bay, we have our engineering area. Uh, now this is a cargo ship, so let's throw some cargo in here. Um, I could go back to the FG spacecraft, see if there's anything in here that we want to use. Spaceship and decorations, hull parts, let's see what we got. Anything that looks like a container is what I'm looking for. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't want it to match too close to this gray. That's what I'm trying to avoid right now. Yeah, no ornaments. Let's go to the uh, FG uh, sci-fi. Interior, and yeah, let's see what kind of uh, we're gonna do doors next. But let's do decorations. Let's see what we got. We'll be using these two crates. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna so we're gonna start stacking. This is let's use these darker ones, right? Because they'll look a little bit different. So back on my draw mode, stamping. I like these crates. 
Let's see how they look. Yeah, that'll look good. Actually, they're already good size, so start stacking these in. There's an enemy kind of encounter in here. This will set up some nice line of sight breakup. All right, so we got some some cargo on our ship. Um, we do. I saw those computers and things. We're gonna go ahead and we'll we'll put these actually in here. Uh, so that was pretty neat. There are some that come with chairs and some without chairs. I'll do the uh, do the without and then add chairs. So let me go back to them. So we got these chairs. So let's put these consoles in. Uh, stamp them, All right? A little big. Get them down to two. It's a little big. A little small. One point three. Stamp there. Stamp it there. Rotate it. We'll put one right here. Uh, and then the captain's office heel do one there see what i'm saying and then we can do the chairs oh, hard to tell which way i'm facing all right there's a chair there's a chair chair here's the chair Right. Uh, in here was a, um, it's like the kitchen area. We got a good table or not. Find something or repurpose something out of this. Actually, this will work. Um, right. So I could um, actually, we could keep it as a long table. Uh, but what I'll do is I'm going to break the aspect lock. And now it makes it a round table. Yeah, so this area will have our table. And it's got a, a couple bedrooms to do, and we're done. So let's see what kind of beds. We could use these med beds. Oh, that might be a little too sci fi, but we could use them. We're using the same backpack. Yeah, and that's different than this. So let's try the med beds to see what they look like as, as beds in here. Uh, flip it and make it a 1.5. Oh, I broke aspect ratio. Throw it back on. Five. One point three. There we go. So these are the you know the crew cruise beds in here. Yeah. Like so. Great. Now I think all we are missing are some doors. Uh, once we get the doors in, then we could start adding line of sight. So I'm still staying in this paint mode. Awesome. They haven't broken my rule. Uh, doors. This is in the EFG sci-fi. And this will look good, I think. A little big. Let's get it down to 1.5. Great. There's a door. There's a door there. There's a door. Uh, they must access from the cargo area. Rotate it. Here's the door. That's everything there. Uh, then down here, door in here, door in here. And then flip it again. There's a door here. I think that gives access to the whole ship. That looks great. All right, so now let's go ahead and make those doors functional. This is where the trick is, and I'll, again, top to bottom. Um, in my uh, layers, I should add a um, maybe a door layer, but I'll, I'll keep it on the painting. Uh, line of sight, door, make it a square. Ooh, maybe before I do this, let me undo. Right. Let's put the wall layers in. That should be the most sensical thing to do. So again, remember we had, we're done with this, I think, for now. Or we had a, a player that could see everything. Um, and I could put down a hex, because that's usually what we use in fancy rounds to make this the, this kind of, 
map and then I could uh, dial it back quite a bit uh, get rid of make it a little bit a lot more transparent just marginally visible okay so now let's add um cancel ah oh, shoot I could cancel that okay I'll go ahead and hide it for now let's add some line of sight so uh, you pick the painting layer that you drew the walls on you could now duplicate paint layer as walls so if I hit duplicate all the walls just got drawn in for me no more manual labor going through and setting this all up you just select your layer, hit manual layers, and you're good. So actually, I'm going to stay in this layer to do my doors. Oop, I did miss a door. Ah, Greg. Let's go back in there. Uh, and stamped in a door. Right there. Great. And of course, that went to the wrong layer. Undo. Painting. And that's where I said I was going to be. Try to stay tight on it. Okay. Great. All right. So yeah, let's do some let's do some doors. All right. So we have our walls layer. I'm gonna work on my wall layer, and this is where I'm gonna start drawing my doors. So I got the door. Do a rectangle. And I'm gonna draw them all out first where I want them all. Got those all down. And what we do to get rid of this, that if the players were to open it, they're not going to see through it because there's still a solid wall line through. Uh, the trick is, from what I've been taught, is you just draw a single line through, hit escape, you select it. And what it did is it did some kind of splice, so you just you delete it now. Pretty clever, but not intuitive. But once you learn it, it's, it's pretty quick. Line through, select. And then you just delete all the points that aren't door. All right, again, line through. Oop. I'll do this one too while I'm here. Clicking fast, I guess. All right. And then click them, delete them. Cool. And then down here. All right. And line through, escape, line through, escape, line through, escape. Select them, delete them. Get rid of some. I did that. There we go. All of them. Cool, cool. Uh, last thing, I want these to be uh, these crates to be line of sight blocking. So I'll set them up as terrain. Let's do some rectangles, and I do draw it on the inside so the players can see the outer walls of it. I don't want to go right up to the edge because they won't know what's there. Right? They just know that there's line of sight. So I just leave some of the artwork there for your players. Okay, once that's done, I think I'm happy with that. So let me go to play mode. Let's put Aaron down. Ooh, that grid might be way, uh, that might be about right. Um, right, so they're down. We're going to enable line of sight now. So now Aaron, when they have their token, the player, moving around, moving around. All right, we see this. Right, so they want to come through this hatch up here. They have to hit, click it, and it opens. I'm going to go in here, hit opens. All right, we're just kind of proofing that all the functions are here. See, I missed one. All right, so there's good reason to do this. I'm going to go in here. Yep, missed one, so I'll draw a line. Wall. Escape. Finger. 
Now, there we go, that's why. Okay. Open, same one, I missed one there, walls. Always worth proofing before you play the game. Do what your players or what you think your players would do and you'll find these, there we go. Okay, back on play mode. It's all line of sights all working. Okay, let's check around this. Did I get that one? Sure did, line of sight. And then down here, the same thing, token check these line of sights. And I didn't put line of sight on all these cryos. We'll assume they could see over. Is, is that pretty cool? What else? Two more things. Let's um let's while we're talking about the map layers, let's make a new layer. Add painting layer. And this will be oh, it doesn't need to be a painting layer. Let's delete it. How do I want to do this? Let's just try this. So I'm gonna delete. Yeah, let's go to assets. I, I, we are going to be back in here. On the FG spacecraft, I think there is a background. FG space background, yep. Yeah. Okay, we're going to use this. So this is going to go down. All right, and then let's see. We want to resize it so it fills the whole thing. And what we do is make it here. Ha ha! We could center it. Maybe it's too big, but there we go. And then what we do is this this one we hide it. That's our old black and white. Or even we're done with it. We could delete it, right? This doesn't exist anymore. We've already drawn what we needed. So now we have this on a very cool traveler uh, fantasy grounds map. Let's go back in the walls painting. Great. Very neat. Uh, last thing I want to do now is add some lighting. Um, we're not using right now uh, enable disable lighting. If I enable it, the character can't see anything. It's pitch black. So they're on their screen, they don't even see this this kind of uh, grayscale fog of war thing that I have as a game master. Uh, your players will only see black screen. So uh, if we want to use the, uh, the lighting, uh, we're going to go here. And we can make a add light and maybe the whole the whole ship is in a low power mode there's something going on uh, you can set it to like um i don't know what's a good one uh, ambient lighting sorry um and do like um moonlight so it's a very dark uh, game effect for them and just going around you can see that it opens up for them but maybe there's like uh, some warning lights and klaxons going off uh, here in the cargo area. We had some red lights. We could put them in different locations, but um, we go back to the lights and we could add a um, add light. We want a pulse or no flash. That's better. And it could be a lamp. Pulse and color. We can make it red. And maybe the range is going to be, uh, you know, 15 meters with a 50 meter fall off. Now to start putting these in different parts of the ship, in different corners. All right, so now. In play mode, when Aaron moves around, I go. I can lock this now. Right. They're walking in areas where there's pulsing red lights, and if you had some sound effects like sirenscape going, all right, this would add a lot to this. So very cool. This is all things handled in Fantasy Grounds. No other software was used. Had the two map packs, the spaceship map pack and uh, the sci-fi interior map pack to all the, do all these uh, decorations and background and even the space uh, on this map. So this is it. This is uh, one of the cool new features with Fantasy Grounds, and I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.